All right, guys, welcome back. So what is an adaptogen? Well, an adaptogen is a type of naturally occurring substance which helps your body deal with stress. So I'm just going to tell you a bit more about them, about how they work, and about why you should consider you know, supplementing one or two adaptogens in your natural diet. I don't know whether you have nootropics or you have a stack or whether you just take a multivitamin, or maybe you take nothing. Um, but you know, I'd like to just talk a bit about why you should consider adaptogens. So an adaptogen is something that naturally helps you regulate your stress levels. So naturally in the wild, humans aren't meant to experience stress for prolonged periods of time. Okay, maybe in the past, say if there was a tiger coming around the corner and we needed to, to quickly deal with it, you know, quickly either run or fight the tiger, then that's where we would have had stress. We would have had a quick, you know, injection of adrenaline, our cortisol levels would have spiked and we would have been able to deal with the threat immediately, right? Well, what happens now is, you know, we're stressed for a variety of reasons and this stress can go on over weeks, years, you know, decades, it can take over our whole lives. And this could be stress from an annoying boss, from the post being late, from you spilling coffee on your lap or something. Um, or it could be other things like financial burdens or strains, you know, maybe you're in debt or you don't have the funds coming in to pay for your expenses. Whatever the case is, you know, stress is in all of our lives. You know, in one at one level or another. So an adaptogen is a type of supplement or herb that you can take which will help you regulate your stress. So what it will do is, it's like a thermostat for your for your stress levels. It will help you regulate and stay at the same level of uh, calmness most of the time. So that when you do experience something stressful, maybe you, know, you are late to work or something, it will help you regulate that so that it doesn't bother you as much and you don't experience the stress. Because at the end of the day, right, stress is really bad for you. Stress helps, you know, not helps, but stress contributes towards all sorts of chronic diseases, you know, diabetes, depression, everything that you can imagine that could go wrong with you is amplified or made worse by stress. So an adapted in is something that comes in and just sort of regulates that stress level and helps you stay calm throughout the whole day, the whole week, the whole month. There are various natural adaptogens you can get. Um, there's actually a very powerful nootropic called Mind Lab Pro, which I'm going to be reviewing very soon, and that contains a good mixture of them. Um, but just from this list I have here, there are several adaptogens you might want to consider. You've got things like aloe vera, you've got astragalus, you've got uh, ashwagandha, bacopa, licorice root, um, milk thistle, basil. You know, there are really loads, um, and I'm going to be writing a blog post about all the different ones you can get very soon. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of tease my next video, which will be about this, uh, which is a naturally occurring adaptogen called ashwagandha. I think I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> um, so I'll be reviewing that very soon. And obviously the other one, Mind Lab Pro, which is a mixture of various adaptogens. But in a nutshell, as long as you eat a plant-based diet and you're eating fairly healthily, you should get sort of at least some level of naturally occurring adaptogens in your diet, which will help you deal with stress. The other things you can do are obviously things like meditation, uh, you know, exercise every day. And I'm not going to get into those too much because a lot of people have been saying that oh, you need to make my videos more concise. You know, I like to ramble on a bit. So look out for other videos on that. But in a nutshell, adaptogens help you regulate your stress levels. And they're very powerful. They're very beneficial, especially if you have something like a high stress job or if you just want to feel more calm and happy. Now, that being said about the adaptogens, I thought I'd just add in a little section um, talking about some naturally uh, easier ways without taking a pill or a herb supplement that you can regulate your stress levels naturally without actually taking anything. Um, because the idea of an adaptogen obviously is very popular in modern society. People are looking for something to just take the edge off and help them feel happier and calmer. People don't like stress, right? No one does. So really, I just wanted to say there are some things you can do which will always help you feel calmer. They'll stop you feeling stressed, they'll make you, make you feel better, and these are things that you should be doing anyway, and I know that most of you have heard them before, I've said them a lot of times, but if you want to feel less stressed and happier, you need to meditate, sleep better, eat better, and keep a journal. Um, now, I don't need to explain the first three. But the journal is something which can help you sort of keep track of what causes your stress and what are your triggers. 
So let's say, if, for example, you get really stressed when you miss the bus or when you hit traffic right, on the way to work. That's something that's out of your control, right? unless you leave really early. So you have two options. You can either leave early and avoid the traffic, which makes you stressed. In this case, that's known as your trigger. Or you can just realize that because you don't have any control over it, it's nothing that you should worry about and sort of let it go. Um, so that's you know a couple of natural ways that you can reduce the stress you feel in your life. Um, and if you do those, you know you shouldn't really feel stressed about pretty much anything other than the extreme emergency things that you need to feel stressed for, right? You know, if you get attacked or if you have something you need to deal with like quickly in an emergency. These are times when you want that sort of surge of adrenaline because it's the fight or flight response that helps you survive. Um, so that's it really guys. If you have any opinions on this, please let me know how you deal with stress and I'll see you next time.